Welcome to the live show on the internet. Yeah. yeah. What I was saying. I was saying, I love her. Damn, bro. If you know me, bro, you know I don't even lie at perks or oh, pussy. I never been a type of shit to be pressed for pussy. But I remember a point in my life when I was chewing a lot of perks. Yeah, I'm proud of myself. I've never been as happy in my life, bro. I don't know where this L came from. What the fuck going on? I ain't even gonna say I'm anti perk. Like, I never took a perk since I've been home. But, bro, my dose is so low that I can't believe it myself. Man, I'm telling y'all, bro. Before I just went to chill, bro, bro, I was taking, bro. I can talk about this because it's my testimony, bro. Now, I'm hollering at y'all. Ain't no shame in my sh. Man, bro. I was taking, bro. Bro, at least a hundred perks. But my average is 40 perks sales, bro. I'm telling y'all this, bro. Bro, I ain't no. To the point I look at this and I be like, bro, what the fuck was wrong with me, bro? I listen to my music and be like, bro, what the fuck, fam? Thank you, love. Hey, Kodak Black, your fans say they glad to see that you got rid of the monkey off your back and you got rid of the super gremlin. <laughs> yeah, they say they glad to see that. I'm so serious, man. Yeah, another thing they said, they ain't understand what they, when you said that you don't like perks or coochie. You know what I mean? But you you stated that you used to eat 100 perks. But one thing about it, Kodak Black, I'd rather eat 100 coochies than 100 perks. <laughs> yeah, any day. I'm so serious. I'm so serious. I rather, yeah, I rather eat a, I rather eat a hundred coochies than uh, shoot a hundred shots. Yeah, I, yeah, I rather do all that. I rather eat a hundred coochies than being locked up in prison the rest of my life. Yeah, I rather eat a hundred coochies than do that, man. Yeah, I was born by the coochie. I rather die by the coochie. Yeah, you better know it, man. You gotta get it right for that. Yeah, that's why I know you a little bit still on the perch a little bit. You ain't say you was all the way off. But you did say that you lowered the doses, man. So I don't I don't know how low is the doses. You know what I mean? Did you go from 100 to 49? Or you don't went from 40 down to like 10 or 15? You know what I mean? Your fans are insinuating they want to know. They need answers. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. Say it ain't so. But one thing about it, Kodak Black, man, you starting to look a little healthy right now. You starting to uh, realize that you was outside of yourself. You weren't really yourself. You know what I mean? Because sometimes we got to do that. Yeah, sometimes we got to pull the plug and reevaluate life and reevaluate ourselves if you want to be great. Now, if you just want to be a loser in life, you'll just carry on. You see what I'm saying? You'll just keep running the same play every day, day in and day out. You see what I'm saying? You won't go with that old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Nah, you won't have to fix something and switch it up. Yeah, you won't have to switch it up at some point in time, man. That only worked for a time being. If it don't, if it ain't broken, ain't don't fix it. Nah, you can't run the same play all the time. You cannot run the same play all the time. No, you can't. Yeah, in real life, that don't work. You got to switch up the formation, man. That's what you did, Kodak Black. You realized the play that you was running, it was working. It was working, but at the same time, it was breaking you. It was starting to break you. It was starting to break your family. It was starting to break your pockets. You see what I'm saying? You were starting to break your fans, and you was doing time in jail and in prison. Yeah. Yeah, you was out there living reckless, Kodak Black, and we all done did it. You see what I'm saying? We all done did it at some point in time. We done lived reckless, whether it was in the streets or it was just being reckless, period. We done lived it. You see what I'm saying? A lot of us deal with monkeys on our back. A lot of us deal with the super gremlin. But what Kodak Black is showing the youth and showing us, period, even if we fans or not, that I had a monkey on my back. I was dealing with a super gremlin, but I was able to get rid of it. Yeah, you'd be able to get rid of it. Now, would this be long term or for the time being? Who knows? 
But the whole thing is, the big picture is, you can get rid of it. So it's up to you how long you want it to stay away. Yeah, a monkey get off your back, but guess what? He'll be back. Would you let? Him, would you give him? Would you give him another ride? Would you pick it back? Him? Would you? Would you let him ride you back again? Or would you say, Nah, man, I ain't on that today. See, that's the fight. So that's the fight. Once he get on your back, it's a war now. It's a full out war. You got to fight before it becomes a war with yourself. And that's what Kodak Black was doing. He had the monkey on his back, it became a war. He got off his back now, he understand. He reevaluated himself. He would listen to his music, he was looking at his videos, he was seeing how he was carrying his carry on. He was seeing, he seen the Drink Champs uh, 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 interview. He wasn't happy with himself. It was many times that he, the, the situation when he got locked up, when he fell asleep in the car, he wasn't happy with himself. He said he can do better than that, and he can, and he's going to demonstrate that. For how long, we don't know. But as us as fans or us as people that live here in Florida, we behind you 100% call that black. When you're doing the right thing, I'm speaking for myself. I jam your music all the time. I'm talking about since you was a jit. I've been jamming your music. So I know what you're capable of. They don't know. We done seen you at your great, but you can be greater. The rap game hurting right now. It need to be cleaned up in many ways. We got to get back to the Florida way, the G way. Get money, take care of your family. Ride nice cars, dress nice, jewelry and all that. You know how we do it. We were never on that. You know what I mean? We weren't promoting that. We was promoting getting that money. That's what we got to get back on. You see what Boss Man d doing? Shout out to Boss Man d Yeah. Huh? Yeah, shout out to Boss Man d Yeah, Boss Man d doing his thing right now, Kodak Black. I know you see I know you see him doing it. He had to jump in and do what he do what he's doing. Because you was fumbling at one point in time, but now you got, it seems like you got your act together. I think y'all need to uh, link up, man, and put something together. Boss Man, d and Kodak Black, man. Had the streets on fire. That's what your fans are looking for, Kodak Black. You see your fans right there, man. Look at the girl, that, look at the ladies coming to holler at you, man. They see the Kodak Black. They like that Kodak Black right there where they, where they trying to holler at. They were scared of that super gremlin. Yeah, they were scared of that super gremlin, man. You got to keep that. You got to keep that gremlin away, man. You understand what I'm saying? He gonna come. He gonna come back to try to play with you. You know what I mean? Pause. He gonna try to come back. You gotta. You got to shove him away, man. If you want this longevity, if you want this money and fame, you want to be able to take care of your family. You want. You want to be able to put out this good music. You got to stay in compliance, man, at all times. You got to. You got to, man. But like I say, I salute anybody, man, that stand up ten, 10 toes and fight and put up a fight. I salute anybody that do that. And that's what you're doing right now, uh, Kodak Black. And it's a good thing while you in this fight, you got people in your corner. And that's what, what everybody I tell. You might don't have who you want in your corner, but you got somebody in your corner. That's all that matters. You might got a thousand friends. By the end of the end of the day, you might really only got one, two, or three friends. It's a lot of people that know you. It's a lot of people that salute you. It's a lot of people that dap you up. It's a lot of people that tell you that they love you. But who in your corner? That's like a needle in a haystack to find somebody that's in your corner. You gonna have a whole bunch of friends, man. You gonna have a thousand of them, but they ain't all they ain't gonna be in your corner. You got to love and respect the ones that's in your corner, man. And you cannot disappoint the people that's in your corner under any circumstances. And that's what Kodak Black realized. He realized that, hey, man, 
I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. These people that's in my corner, my family, my mama, my old lady, my baby mamas, my children. You understand what I'm saying? My faculty. Yeah, I'm putting everybody's life in danger. And that's one thing about becoming a man, understanding what you need to correct and correct it. And he gave a testimony and he was sincere about it. He didn't have to do that. He wasn't pressured to do that. That wasn't nothing that, that, that you don't want the general public to know just for clout. Yeah, so we got to overstand young people, man. When you got somebody out there that's trying to say that you can do better, they ain't hating on you, man. It's called uh, productive criticism. Yeah, that's what it's called, man. Because they know that you can do better. They know you can produce better. Yeah, you got productive and constructive criticism. You got to know the difference. Then you got hate. The people that criticize you, man, they know that you can do better. They want to see you do better. You got people that'll wish you well, then you got people that want well for you. You got to know the difference. Even salt look like sugar. Shout out to Vigor Rankin. Words of wisdom, you got to understand all that, man. Don't let nothing fool you. Don't let nothing knock you off your pivot. Remain 10 toes down through all circumstances, no matter what. With that being said, if you smell some stink, that's me, Urban Gossip TV, because we the shit. <laughs>